Hi there, Corey from SaaS Pegasus. And today I want to show you how to set up a Stripe hosted pricing table with your SaaS Pegasus project. So I'm in Stripe. This is my Stripe dashboard. I've added um, two products. Where are they? Product catalog. So I've added two products here. I have a professional plan with monthly and annual pricing. And I have a starter plan, cheaper tier, similar setup. And I want to create a pricing table in Stripe for this plan and then host it inside my Pegasus app. So I'm going to search for pricing tables, create a pricing table. And then I'm just going to add my products here. And for each product, I'm going to select both the monthly and the annual price. So we have that one and then we'll add the same for starter. Now we've got our nice two products here. Um, we can customize these display settings if we want. You know, we can I don't know, we can tweak the fonts. Uh, we could um, use rounder buttons. We can also change to like our brand primary color if we want to do that. I haven't really chosen a primary color for my brand, so I'm not really going to worry about that right now. But Next, I'm just gonna click continue. And this, this is the one piece uh, that's a little bit confusing or that sometimes trips people up when they set things up in Pegasus. I'm just gonna go to the docs. So yeah, configuring the pricing table. So basically when you use a pricing table by default, Stripe will like after you subscribe, just kind of show this confirmation page and say, thanks for subscribing. That's because Stripe doesn't really like know where you're sticking this thing or how to deal with it. Um, but what we actually want to do is we want to redirect <clears throat> people back to our application after they have subscribed so that we can show them confirmation in our app and then sort of continue with the onboarding flow. So the way that we do that is by modifying this confirmation page setting and we're going to copy this URL here, and we're going to say don't show a confirmation page, instead redirect customers to our website. And in development, we're just going to put this value of localhost subscription confirm. And then the session ID equals check in, checkout session ID is um, Stripe will stick the session ID in there, and then your Django application will grab that ID and process it and grab all the rest of the data from there. We're also going to click apply the same configuration to other prices which should work. And then we have to do the same thing on every product. So you kind of paste the same URL, click apply this configuration to other prices again, and click continue. And I think that is everything. So now we can just click finish here. And we can see in the URL, so Stripe is telling us how to embed this. this. This script is already kind of handled it by Pegasus, so we're just gonna grab the ID here from the URL. So I will go ahead and paste this into my .in file under Stripe pricing table ID right there. I will now run my server. And hopefully if we didn't mess anything up. I can sign in, go to my subscription page, and now the pricing table will hopefully in a moment get loaded by Stripe, and we can check out these prices. We can subscribe to a plan. Um, Stripe will give you this little upsell thing, which is kind of cool. And yeah, we'll put in a little email, use our 4242 Stripe test card and subscribe. And so now if we set things up properly, Stripe will redirect this back to our subscription confirmation page. That's the config that we stuck in there earlier. Let's take a minute to load. And yeah, so now we can see that we've signed up for the starter plan and we are good to go on a subscription. So that is setting up the 
Stripe pricing table in your Pegasus app. What did that take, like three minutes? Yeah, so pretty quick to be able to get something up and running, accepting payments, having that logic reflected in your app. Hope that was useful and I will see you next time.